What's up you guys? Okay, see all this stuff back here? It's unlisted. I still need to take pictures and I still need to list it in my eBay store. But screw all that, let's go thrifting. I'm in the mood to go find some things. Um, I need to get out of the house. I don't wanna think about that stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let it sit there and go thrifting and find treasures instead. Come along with me. Okay, so I am here, I have very limited time. I'm gonna try to spend a short amount of time in two thrift stores and just look in my favorite sections and see if I can find anything. I mean, it is always a toss up, but fingers crossed that I find some good stuff for you guys. Okay, first up, I went to the jean section and noticed the embroidery right away. These are rag and bone jeans, specifically the Dre fit. They're like a looser, relaxed boyfriend style jean. And these typically sell for me for around $50, Retail is like 225, something kind of crazy. So definitely a pickup, but you do have to pay attention to style. Next up, I found these Rock Revival Terra Skinny Jeans, and they don't have the same like bling embellishment on the pockets, which is why I don't think they'll fetch quite as much as other Rock Revival does for me, but they were still a decent price, so I picked them up, and I have sold them before for a pretty good price. Next up in the denim section, I found Frame Denim, which is a really high-end jeans brand. And these are the Lay Skinny. I'm not even going to try to say all of that. Um, but they retail for over $200, and resale value is pretty good, so I definitely grabbed them. Then I found a bread and butter item for me, AG Adriano Goldschmied. I don't pick up every style, but the Ferris Skinny is a high-rise skinny jean that sells pretty well for me. So I did go ahead and pick these up, and again, the price is really fair. AG, you do have to kind of be careful about. Not every single style sells really well, but certain styles sell better than others. Here's another example of AG. This is the bow. It's like a loose, slouchy fit, relaxed denim. It's distressed. I thought it was a cute style, so I definitely picked it up, and it was also for like a really decent price. All right, in the pants section, I stumbled upon some Trina Turk wool plaid pants, and I thought they were cute, and Trina Turk does sit for a while for me. It is like a high-end retail brand, but it doesn't sell the fastest all the time. So um, I do expect to sit on these, but I still think that they can flip for a decent price. Okay, and then these cool pants, women's cool outdoor just doesn't sell as well as like the men's outdoor, the men's jackets or sweaters. So even though I did pick this up, it was only a few dollars, I kind of regret it. <laughs> okay, so I think that was kind of a success. Um, I am hurrying, like I went through the store as fast as I could and I found a few things, but I really didn't find as much as I usually do. So I'm gonna head to another thrift store and see what I can find in like, I have literally 30 minutes and then I have to go home. So fingers crossed that I'm able to fly through there, go through the best sections and see if I can find anything. Okay, first up, I did find this Patagonia pullover. I have sold this style of Patagonia many times. It's the Capeline wool pullover half zip. It rarely sells for more than $25 for me, so I did pick it up considering I was only going to pay 5 bucks for it, and it's a quick flip. J. Crew heels usually do pretty well for me, and these were leather with this really cute two-tone cap toe detail but there was some significant scuffing right at the toe that I could not cover with polish, so I did leave them behind, sadly. Otherwise, it would have been an easy pickup. And these Zara platform, super crazy jute braided sandals were too cool to pass up. They were super unique, and again, I've told you guys, like, go for unique, different things on eBay. They sell a little bit faster, and so I definitely picked these up for five bucks for the pair. These YSL patent leather kitten heel shoes, I kind of died a little bit when I found them. I couldn't believe it, but they are an older style. Um, you can kind of tell the print and the logos older. That doesn't mean they won't sell, and I definitely picked them up, but um, it's something to consider. And they are a little bit worn, but for $3, yes, definitely picked those up. Sundance is a brand I find quite often actually where I live. There are quite a few outlets around here and I do have to be kind of selective with what I pick up these days. It doesn't seem to sell for quite as much for me anymore, but I did pick up these sandals for $5 and I figured they could sell for $25 plus shipping. Fingers crossed. I was really excited to find these Fly London shoes. These are the Yaz Platform Wedge comfort shoes like slip-on 
Fly London is really funky and different, and that's always a good thing for eBay. So I definitely picked them up. They retail for well over $100 and should resell for $50 to $60. And these Ralph Lauren embossed loafers are vintage and leather. They need a little bit of cleaning up, but I picked them up because anything vintage Ralph Lauren with that crest on it does pretty well for me. So I kind of picked them up based on instinct. I hope they sell. Comps do seem to be around $40. What's up you guys? So I'm actually here at another thrift store on a different day and it's just because I didn't have time that day and I didn't find enough to like fill an interesting video for you guys. So that's, that's my goal. Um, so I'm hoping at this next thrift store I can find enough to kind of make it a little bit more exciting. Um, so fingers crossed, let's go. One of the first things I found were these Vince Camuto Lovette kind of like laser cut peep toe booties, sandals, heels, whatever. <laughs> and these were brand spanking new, like never worn, nowhere on the bottom, still had the stickers. So a pretty decent find. I usually would not pick up Vince Camuto, but because these were brand new and because they're in such great condition, I did pick them up. These are some Moose and Cloud, Moose and Cloud, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, Anthropology Lace-Up Patent Leather Oxford Shoes, and I thought they were really unique and quirky. I have sold Moose and Cloud before. It took a while to sell, but it sold for around $35, so I'm hoping that these will sell for about that much as well. And again, unique is good when it comes to eBay. These are some Gordon Rush boots, and even though the picture I'm showing you isn't like the exact same style, it's really close. These retail for like $400, so like Allen Edmonds territory, although the resale value can be iffy depending on condition and style. I thought these could be cleaned up really nicely, except there was just a big gaping like kind of hole where the seam should meet the sole. And so I did leave them behind because I just didn't feel like it would be worth it to try to fix. But otherwise, this would have been a really cool find. Okay, this goes against a lot of things I have said. But this LuLaRoe jacket, even though I don't sell LuLaRoe anymore, it just never moves for me. I just thought it was way too crazy and unique. I had to grab it. I did see a comp on Poshmark for $55, um, and this is in a great size. It's in 2XL. So I did pick it up, and I took a risk, and I don't know if it'll pay off, so I will definitely keep you guys posted. And then I stumbled upon this beautiful Harley jacket. It is women's, but it's armored. It's embroidered. It is way cool. It's a women's extra small, so that was a consideration, and this thrift store was taxing. They really wanted it for $40, so it was a risk, but I have paid $40 in the past for Harley Davidson armored jackets, and it has paid off a lot, so I did pay up for it, and oh, I just really hope it sells and I don't eat my words. And then last but not least, I found this Demi Lovato Fabletics collab hoodie, and because it was a collab and because Demi Lovato is so popular, I thought it could sell pretty well. I'm seeing comps anywhere from $25 to $30-ish. So I'm really hoping it sells for about that. And again, I went with my instincts on this one and hopefully it sells. It was only a few dollars, so not a terrible risk. What's up, you guys? I am coming to you live from my office as I edit this video, actually. And I needed to add just a little end note because I noticed on my last Thrift With Me video, I had a ton of comments saying, I don't have any thrift stores near me that are good and they all overcharge and I never find anything. And I'm super sorry if that's the case, but please know a couple of things. One is that this is a very short compilation of hours of looking. <laughs> hours of looking like my back hurt. Um, you know, it was, it was rough. I was looking for a long time. So I am only showing you the highlights just so this video isn't super long and super boring and that you don't see all the faded glory and target brands and Avia and, uh, just fab and all of these kind of very quick fashion, not super great for resale brands. 
So I just had to throw that out there. And secondly, I have scoped out pretty regularly the thrift stores in my area for ones that just continually have pretty good inventory for me at a pretty good price. So um, I've done my research and this is just, you're seeing the result of a lot of failed attempts at thrifting. Um, I've gotten a little bit better as the years have gone on. I mean, definitely not perfect. I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm definitely not perfect. I make mistakes all the time, but I have refined my process and I would say, you know, try going to every single thrift store in your area, go to consignment stores, go to the Goodwill outlet. There's plenty of places to find inventory, go to Facebook marketplace, you know, exhaust all of your resources. So anyway, I just want to suggest that and let you guys know I am aware that it looks like this was super simple and that I have just a ton of great brands right in front of my face, but is not the case. I work pretty hard and I go through a lot of brands that don't resell well to find the ones that do. So just wanted to clear that up, but I super appreciate all of you guys for watching. Thank you so much. I really work hard on these thrift with me videos to make them helpful and informative and entertaining for you guys. So I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. I appreciate every single one of you. And as always, you guys take care. I will catch you next time.